Hello, everybody. I'm Bob from Monaco Studios, and today I'm joined by Nems from Burke Crew Studios. Say hello, Nems. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right, except I'm about to sneeze. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep from doing that. I will pray for you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sneezed. <laughs> That's right. I need. I need to have my daughter married to somebody. Oh, do you? I do. She's like error right now in my kingdom. Oh. Yeah, my, and... my my daughter's got that weird matrilineal thing with one of the Byzantine people. Right, and that's I, I, well, I got really excited about that for like a moment or two because that was telling what I thought was happening was that you were going to at some point in like you know the next hundred years inherit the Byzantine Empire. I was just like, no way. Yeah, that would be that would be a little OP, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so I can create some t duchies, but I don't want to do that. Um, well, you can, depending on, you know, it, it depends on, I think, where you want to go with your, 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 your duchy, right? Your, your own right. realm. You know, if, if you're suffering significant penalties and people rebelling against you constantly because you hold too many titles, that might oh, be a good I'm way very, to go. Oh, I'm very much not doing that. Yeah. So, not but even, I, I think your, your laws probably are going to make it to where your sons are going to inherit a bunch of stuff and your kingdom is going to get broken up anyway. Do we want to go ahead and uh, unpause here? Oh, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. All righty. You are good so, to go. So I have my retinue still, uh, which I maxed out on. So I think I need to spend some money on upgrades, maybe? This isn't that a thing where you can get more retinue size? What's that? I'm sorry? I'm trying to remember what gives you more retinue size. I think it's military organization. Training ground does. Ah, uh, yeah, from a... From, from a tech. tech perspective, uh, as for structures, plus one hundred fifty percent revenues. That's correct. Interesting. I know, like keeps and militia training grounds and training grounds, they add to your levy sizes. Mm -hmm. I know that. Right, so, what am I not going to inherit? The Duchy of Lancaster is going to go to my son, and two counties are going to go to uh, my other sons. So. Hmm. Retinue size plus 20. That doesn't seem like a lot to me. Well, is that 20 people or is that 20 points? Uh, that's what I'm going to look at because I just finished a turning ground. So before I build another one, let me go look to see what impact that had. Oh, yeah. Retinue size plus 20. <laughs> so... Now my total's thirteen twenty. Damn, you just got a huge retinue. Well, it's points, right? So I only have five hundred re retinue right now. Right, but I mean, well, your available retinue is thirteen hundred something, right? Well, that's again points, but my the types of soldiers I have count for more than one point. Because well, no, my, no, I I know that. I was just yeah, yeah, saying the, the point amount of wise, points yes. you have is more. You have twice as many points as like I do for retinue size. Ah, like I've only got six ninety three. Well, rough, roughly, you have twice as many points as I do, but. Interesting. Thinking of, do I actually want to raise a retinue right now anyway? Which I probably should. Um, I'm doing okay money wise, which is why I have, but. I'm gaining about 11 point something a month while paying my retinue. I may regret that after, you know, I die. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm Harewald, Swafford, and yeah you Oh, I don't have any children yet. That's what's going on here. I see. Man, I better not well I'm only seventeen. So I shouldn't have a problem with this. I'm only seventeen. Come on, so please. what are your plans? What do you got going on? Well, the problem is I'm like trying. I'm I'm not sure what to do because I'm 57 and I'm about to lose a bunch of land. So I'm trying to deal with what's going to happen once that occurs. Because I'm going to lose an entire duchy. I'm going to lose Lancaster, Chester, and Derby to to one of my sons. And I'm also going to lose Oxford and Devon. It's it's going to split away into its own duchy. Yes. Or they're going to. I'm going to lose those 
Well, the county shouldn't matter, right? Because as the duke, I still have that the county. If that, if that, is right? That correct? The, the county would still be but under the your duchy control. title. Is the one I'm concerned about. The Duchy of Lancaster is going to pass to one of my sons. Right. So if you, if you don't want your kingdom or realm to get split up at all, then uh, your your course of action is to engineer some way of your sons, you know, biting the dust. Well, but that would require all like more of my sons to bite the dust. I would imagine. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, I hate to say it, but it's gonna. If you don't want your kingdom split up, you're gonna have to find some way of having them die, you know, or not be around anymore, or marry them matrilineally, maybe off to somebody. Yeah, I'm curious as to how. How does it decide that he gets a duchy? Is it because he doesn't have something else, and so he inherits a title? Uh, how how that is specifically broken down, I don't know. I don't know the math behind that. You know, all, all, what it comes down to is your, you know, your inheritance laws and that stuff, I think, gets just divided up equally. As, as regard to titles, it gets divided up equally. So if you have two sons and you have two duchy titles, then it's going to give one to each mm. is what it does. And then, you know, how, how it sorts that, I don't know. Like, the, the eldest might get the primary duchy title, which is the one that you, like, started as. Or if you shift your duchy title somewhere else, then maybe they get that one, I think. Yeah, my, uh, my my main my my main heir is the is the heir to the Duchy of Mercia, and then my that, second son is heir to the Duchy of Lancaster. Now that said, uh, what what will likely happen, and what I, what I've seen happen anyway, uh, is that uh, while your duchy will fall in, well, the Duchy of Lancaster, Duchy of Lancaster, right? Yes, will fall away to one of your other sons. The son that you end up playing as, or whichever character you end up playing as, is still in the same family. Will have a claim on the Duchy of Lancaster. Mm, so I can take it from my brother then. You could. Interesting. It's so really. I guess, it's, it's I guess the idea is, in order to to really hold on to a large amount of land, you have to become a king. Is that fair to say? Well, that's that's again, that's more to your inheritance laws. Like right now, I have Gavelkin, which I think you have Gavelkin too, which is that uh, the titles of the ruler divide amongst the, amongst the children, with the oldest getting the primary title. Yes. Right. So if you if you can change your inheritance laws to like primogeniture, then your oldest title, child will just inherit all your titles, and then you don't have to worry about it. As far as your kingdom getting split up. Yeah, I can change it to seniority or elective monarchy, but I cannot currently change it to primogeniture. So, let's see here. So for primogenitor, I need, or will, the, it'll tell you what the conditions are with the question mark if you hover over it. It'll tell you what you haven't met. So like me, so I I'm haven't not paid. a vice royalty. That's one of the problems. Well, that's just one of those must be true. Oh, one of these. Okay, so yeah. So you've got uh, the, one of the sub uh, subheadings there is holder, and then the next one down is all of the following must be true: holder, primary title. One of these must be true. Has the law late feudal administration or has the law imperial administration? Interesting. And the way I get those laws is through my council, or is that a realm? Uh, thing? I think that depends on council power, revoke tiles, grant tiles, execution banishment, imprisonment. Probably not. I mean, what happens is your 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 you will put forward a law. I don't know. Have you done any law changes yet? I haven't. Not for me. Okay, so uh, like go to go to your realm. Uh, I'm going to pause this real quick here. Yeah. Actually, no, no. I was lit. It's only a speed one. So uh, you've got your Inheritance, Realm, Obligations, Council. So go to your Realms tab. Okay. So do you have any of those available for changing, like centralization? Uh, I can change it to low, and I can change status of women, and I can change revoke title. All right, go ahead and just pick one of those and set it to the next one up. Like, I'd probably do centralization to low. Okay. So now, in kind of the tupper, upper top right-hand corner, there should be three numbers separated by, uh, by slashes. That's going to be votes for, against, and those that haven't voted yet. One, and zero, that's a council. five. Right. So one, that's you. You've, you've started the vote on it. Okay. So the rest of your council is now going to come in and vote on it is what's going to happen. 
Now, I, I don't know where the the uh, for or against is going to be on that, but you can probably get an idea of that just by looking at your council and seeing what their personalities are. Like, malcontents obviously aren't going to vote for you. You know, while loyalists obviously are. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, but low centralization probably shouldn't be too big of a deal to get through. Like, I don't know what the opinion is your vassals have of you. I mean, only one of them, which is Lord Mayor of Wiltshire, has a negative opinion of you. Mm. You know, the rest of your vassals seem to have a pretty good opinion of you. I don't know what your council looks like, though. Uh, I'm missing two seats on my council at the moment, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's no good. So, let me see here. Diplomacy. Put him there for now. And him there. All right, so sure. All right, so we can go ahead and tick then, and I'll see what happens. So under laws, it just says one zero five, and they all like me. They're all between fifty three and eight ninety seven. Right. So this so is where the personalities. For... This is where the personalities come into play uh, for this. Gotcha. So a loyalist is going to be like, yeah, why not? And as long as it doesn't destabilize the realm or otherwise take power away from themselves, mm -hmm. they'll be for it. A malcontent isn't going to like anything you put forward. They're going to be like, no, screw you. We're the GOP Congress in the United States. We don't care what Obama puts forward. We're going to vote it down. That's how malcontents work. That escalated then, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> just call it like I see it but anyway uh, then you have like the pragmatist who will uh, you know the, as long as it's you know granting more power to the realm isn't taking away power from themselves and isn't destabilizing the realm right, so now I'm like, I've got right. low centralization now so Who hates me? It's this Who guy. Who hates me? Ugh, but I can't. I can't make him a spy master. He's horrible. All right. So now my law is centralization low. Right. So your domain limit should have increased. Your vassal limit probably increased. Yep. That's true. Sure all did. that. Yeah. So those those are some very straightforward benefits that you get from just like that law change. Now, mm. uh, because you've now enacted a law, you can't change another one for a certain amount of time. Right. Which I, I think is, is like best 10 years to or hand like off um, single counties to vassals. It depends general. on if you think they're going to be a problem later on. Like I wouldn't give counties to somebody who I think is going to be disloyal. For instance, like do you, I, do you I give them to your kids up. maybe or you just give them away to uh, vassals? If, if, Again, it depends on what the situation is at any given time. You know, if they're already going to inherit a bunch of stuff, I don't worry about it uh, myself. Well, that's why I'm wondering like, if hey, I should give the counties that my kids are going to inherit to someone else. Or if I should just leave well, them there. Well, in some instances, you won't be able to. Uh, like, I, I don't think you can give any of your children. Like, the guy who's got claims on the Duchy of Lancaster, like, you can't give those away to somebody else because he has claim on those, and those are going to be his right now. Uh, as is. Right. I don't know if, um, and if, well, hang on. If, so if you give, so if you give all the counties to somebody else, the duchy title is still going to go to your son, whichever son has a claim on it currently. Just that whoever has control of those counties will now become a vassal to that guy. So he's the heir, but he's not. He doesn't have a claim on it. That's what I was curious. Like, is there a way to impact that? All good. Without Without killing them, not that I'm aware of. Okay. All good. For them otherwise meeting their demise somehow. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so I'm in a war to make this guy a tributary. Interesting. And glam Glamorgan. All right. My daughter's excited about something, apparently. All right, so... Oh, be young again. Uh, I have a 
I have a title to give out. How exciting. Well, I need commanders for my army, so... Happy to give that one out. Here, there we go. Wow, oh, what in the world? Look here, Harewald. God, his horrible. Why are you even a commander? How are you a commander with that? Where is titles? Minor titles, there we go. I need to make that guy not a commander because he is horrible. <laughs> well, he is a flat terrain expert and a flanker, but his uh, his um, his marshal six. Mm, I guess I don't have a lot of good options. Oh well. So, should we kick it up to speed two? Yeah, let's do that. All right. You're tracking time, right? I am. So, what else should I look at doing? Hmm. Let's check on the old intrigue screen. Ooh, I have two threats. The Lord Mayor of Wiltshire is a threat. He doesn't like me because he's not on my council. It, that seems to be like a recurring theme. People get all pissy pants. Well, you can appoint advisors to your council as well. As do that. So, you, so you've got your normal council positions. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. And then there's just advisors who they don't, they can't do things like, you know, be a spy master and do spy master things or chancellor and do chancellor things. They're just on your council. So how do I make him an advisor? Should just be uh, right click and invite to council. Where is it? No, wait, he's already a counselor. Uh, where is it? Talking about counselor? Yeah, point counselor. Honor yeah, this one won't let me. Because I yeah, don't so have you need any a honor word honor So I'm going to make this guy master the horse. Oh, is that yeah. considered those titles? Well, hmm. I think it also depends on who it is as well. So let me find a landholder. This guy. Can I point to council? Interesting. I know you can do this. Cupbearer, maybe? Sure, I will go spend some time with you. Okay, I know there's a way to do this because I know our King's Council had a bunch of counselors on it that were not. Right. King's Council. Hmm. Yeah, someone was just plotting to kill my wife, by the way. How dare they? You like me anymore now? No. Yeah, I mean, I saw the, um, there's an appoint counselor thing where you can hand out honorary titles that come with a seat on your council attached to it. But, uh, um, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Requirements. We have enter, but it says I don't have any. That's the part I don't understand. Oh well, no big deal. No big deal. What I do need to do is build some more stuff. Hmm. Let's check on my retinue size. Still 1,320. Am I still building that thing? Um, yes, I'm still upgrading here. We'll finish next year. It does take quite a long time to build stuff, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Alright, so... Good to your duchies. 
Okay. Join me for an attack on our enemies. I'm sorry, what? Well, you're allied to me, so I dragged you into this war. Oh, who are we fighting? Uh, we're fighting uh, Glamorgan. Count, Count Sinu of Glamorgan. Oh. Alright, well, give me a second. Raise some levies. Join me in Leicester. We're gonna crush this guy. Mm hmm. Who was losing men by like the truckload? He's about to lose a lot more. He started at like 2,200, so he's lost 600 just by sieging the stuff in my county. Mm. Well, you just ran right in there, didn't you? I did. It's go time. I lost a commander somehow? What's going on there? He probably died. Earl of Lancaster. Sure. My son, you will lead armies and stuff. Nemson, yes. The Yorkist War to make Count Sinau has ended. Okay, well that's nice. That was a quick war. It was. <laughs> Alright, so military dismiss levies. Go back. Go back home, retinue. Oh, retinue, oh, retinue. So, one of my things has a barony and a city. Okay, okay. So, this barony is the tax, right? Or the castle? Barony is the, the castle. City. Got it, okay. Yeah. But we'll have to learn more about Crusader Kings 2 in the next episode. If you're enjoying the series, please like and subscribe. It helps out a great deal for both of our YouTube channels. Just getting more notice and such out there on the interwebs because we enjoy making content like this for you guys. But for now, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.